Hey there, so I came across a real world situation where I'm gonna use chat GPT to write code for me. So this is the function I'm trying to implement. Um, I need I need to see whether two intervals uh, overlap. So I think Copilot would just do it for me. Nope, doesn't, doesn't work this time. But I will go to chat open AI and I will ask it to basically implement this function. So implement this function in TypeScript. Given two intervals, it should decide whether or not they overlap. Okay, so this is basically the perfect implementation. But when I first saw it, I wasn't quite sure that it's correct. I had to draw it on my whiteboard. And I'm gonna copy it. And so what would help me here would be to have some tests for this because it's a little it's a little unclear of what's going on. And I wish AI would just give me some examples how it can be used so I can quickly take a look whether it makes sense or not. So what I'll do here, go back to chat and ask, can you write some just tests in TypeScript covering possible scenarios of that function being used. All right, so this is pretty much exactly what I wanted. And I like that. So it even explained which scenarios it covered. When they overlap, don't overlap, when they're next to each other, when they're the same. So, but this is, these tests are kind of ugly. I don't like the, well, okay, this is not too bad. Okay, let's take that and try to create. So I'm just gonna copy them right here. Oh, that's not quite correct. <laughs> it's using the wrong quotes here. Okay. Now let's try running them. Ta da! And now, not only I have explanation in the chat UI, I also have explanation by getting some tests. Uh, let's just be a little annoying. Like, can you store the result? off into a variable before using expect because that would just look better. And at this point, it's like talking to a real programmer. Um, it just does what I ask it to do. And I can I can go ahead and check these make sure that it makes sense. But I think it will we have October 1st to October 5th and October 3rd, actually, let's keep going. Can you use times in time intervals instead of date intervals? Oh, interesting, so it modified the function too. I'm not sure that's necessary though. Um, and now it, um, and now like this is a little verbose, so I'm gonna keep asking it to improve this. So can you refactor a date creation into a separate helper function? It should have year, month and day hardwired and expect a and expect hour and take hour, minute and second as arguments. This is exactly what I was going for. So I'm gonna start copying here. This will be my helper function. And I think, and now my tests kind of look just the way I wanted, wanted them to look. They're easy to read. So I'll just 
take this code. Oops, oh, it keeps making syntax errors. That's the only annoying thing. Oops, one second. Okay, let's run the tests. They still seem to work and I can read through these to kind of understand what's going on. Like we have interval from 10 to 11 and then 9 to 10, 30 and it overlaps. Now 10 to 11, 11 to 12, they don't overlap. 10 to 11, 11 to 12 don't overlap and 10 to 11, 10 to 11 overlaps. Um, yeah, well, can you add additional test case where one interval is bigger, one interval is inside the other, because that's the one I'm missing. Uh, it's rewriting the whole file. That's okay. Should be at the end, I expect. Okay, this is the test case that I wanted. Here we go. Ta -da. Now this is 10 to 11, and there's inside 1030 to 1045. Beautiful. Hmm. The second in create date helper, the second should be hardwired to and only minute and hour and minute should be passed as arguments. I'm just giving it hard time now, but it seems to be able to deal with anything I ask it to. So here's my updated created ad. And well, I'll just I'll just update these manually. Now they're really easy to read, aren't they? So to me, this is like a great way to take break uh, from actual programming and just chat to your computer for a little while. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this manually. If it, I'm just gonna copy from here. What's up? Come on. Oh, this is stuck. This seems stuck. Let's try again. Or I can just keep doing it manually. So now this looks really good because I have my I have my create date helper just take two arguments, hour and minute, and my test is working properly. Run it. There we go. That's pretty nice, isn't it?